through all the ups and downs of life, the one thing that makes such a decisive difference is the attitude of our hearts. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. Have you ever noticed how some days it feels like nothing's going right? Things that should be working aren't. People who should be standing by you aren't. It should be easier than this. Why is this so difficult? God, what's going on here? Yeah, that's right. Have a good old whinge. Blame other people. Blame your circumstances. Even blame God. And maybe you're entitled. But the thing I finally figured out is that grumbling and complaining never, ever make things better. Get a revelation. Grumbling and complaining simply doesn't work. And then one day I stumbled across something that does. It's from a guy with a kind of a weird name, Habakkuk. And this is what he said. Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. Figs might not grow on the fig trees, and grapes might not grow on the vines, and olives might not grow on the olive trees, and food may not grow in the fields. There might not be any sheep in the pens or cattle in the barns. But I will still be glad in the Lord and rejoice in God, my Saviour. The Lord God gives me strength. He helps me to run fast like a deer. He leads me safely onto the mountains. It may sound crazy, but a glad heart, a thankful heart, a heart that rejoices in God. Now there's something that really works because that's an attitude of the heart that God wants to bless. In fact, it's an attitude of the heart that God does bless. So. You can grumble or give thanks. It's completely up to you. That's God's word, fresh for you today. Come on, let's be honest. We each have those days when we feel like grumbling. And on those days, the best thing you can possibly do is to turn to the word of God. That's why I'd love to send you your fresh devotional each day, a scripture verse and some words of inspiration, hope, and encouragement to help you be all that God made you to be. It's completely free. Just stop by at ChristianityWorks.com for instant access. Again, that web address is ChristianityWorks.com. I'll catch you next time.